It's gonna That's be all. Be back. Make sure you like, share, subscribe to the page. So today we react to Google and pulling a woman on stage right in front of her boyfriend and doing some inappropriate things, to say the least. But uh, yeah, man, Cash Pat, you know what it is. We'll be back. See Oh yeah, man, we back. Make sure y'all like, share, subscribe. If you wanna donate, links right there on the page. Cash app, PayPal is in the description. You know what I'm saying? If you can't donate, hey man, look, just uh share the content and make sure you tell your family to subscribe, man. We got a lot of people watching, but a lot of people ain't subscribed. We trying to reach fifty thousand subscribers, then a million from there. So look, hit the notification bell too while you at it. This guy here, we gotta watch it. Let's go. Oh, 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 since it was public, I think the right thing for me to do is to publicly apologize to him. Like that was bad, but you know, I made it, it was honestly a mistake. I just, if I knew this would like get this far, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even go to a concert. I don't know, because this is not worth. And also people saying that he's the one that bought the tickets. Who, I think, who, who told you that as well? Who said he's the one that bought the tickets? It was me. I'm the one that bought the tickets. I wanted me to have a good time because, you know, like, we're young. Like, real young. So, like, I thought this is a good thing to do. Let me just take my mind to a concert. Let's have fun. Like, that's it. There's nothing wrong with that. I beg, since when is it illegal to do so? Since when? That just tells you a lot because... Us women, we can do things as well. Like, if we want to take our man out, I'll take our man out. So, so yeah, like I said, it was me. Anyways, also, me and him, like, we've had private conversations about going on stage with Omele because he does this at his shows. If you know, if you really know Omele, you will know that he's done this in his past, at his past concerts. Like, this is what he does. This is literally what he does. Like, it's nothing new. So obviously, I said, you know him at this conversation, like I said to him, um, if I was to get called on stage, I'm going to go on stage. And he said, that's fine, like, 
he's been saying that's fine like we me and him never ever ever had an issue with me going on stage even when the time came like i think there was a video where people were saying like i was moving away from him like i was pushing him away like no like oh my lady she looked at me and said to you he said i want to you this <laughs> Obviously, I just got really excited because Omele is like one of my favorite artists. I don't care what anybody says. Like, you all have favorite artists. I don't even want to hear that. Like, so he's mine. So obviously, he's my favorite artist, not mine. Um, so obviously, I got really excited. I was just genuinely happy. All right. What's your thoughts, man? Because I got a lot to say. Let me fix my glasses real quick. You know what I'm saying? Let me get these together. First of all, you Henry McCoy in the face looking chick. You Henry McCoy beast saber tooth face looking chick how dare you go and mention the fact that you brought the tickets so what you're saying is what you saying is that basically you have every god given right to do whatever you want because you brought the tickets so you're taking it out so you can embarrass him and say whatever the hell it is and do whatever the hell it is you want. That's what you're saying. That's basically what you're saying. So I can tell in y'all relationships just off of how you presented, I can tell that you control the whole situation. That he probably hasn't doesn't have a say so in nothing. I could tell that you wear the pants in the relationship. I could tell. I could tell that, sorry to say, I could tell that he's probably a simp. I could tell. Because by your description, how you're describing, you're running the whole show. Or I could be wrong, and you just feel like you could do whatever you want. There's an old saying about females like you. You for the streets. You for the streets. You ain't not, you ain't, you wasn't with that guy. You had no intentions of being with that guy. You already had in your mind that, oh yeah, Omelay, he does that in his shows. I beg. Who cares? If you got respect for your man, you're not going up on the stage. You don't care what he do. I don't care if he do backflips, somersaults turn around twirl you ain't doing all look this is what i'm saying when i mean the devaluing of a man this is exactly what it is right here this is exactly what it is right here i bet you if he did that there'd be all types of women rallying oh how could you oh you're so disgraceful da, 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 da. You see how they did? My brother, my brother was walking by himself. She ain't even follow behind that dude, bro. She ain't even follow behind him. He walking by himself. Her friends is like, how could you do that? You were actually holding his dick. Oh, it surprises you, huh? Come on, man. Come on, man. Let's be for real here. Let's be for real here. You ain't even cute. Look, this is what you get. This is what you get. You ain't even cute. You get the torch <laughs> right in the face. <laughs> You're not even cute. I'm not. I'm not you to the fullest. You ain't. You not. You not even cute. You a poor representation. You a poor representation. You need to go home. Do one of the makeup tutorials. Fix your face.
Yo, bro, she for the streets. Leave her alone. Leave her alone. She for the streets. She ain't never coming back. Wait until she get of age and she, and, and she have children and they all running around. They go on YouTube and they see their mom dancing on stage with Umale holding Umale's dick. Pause. Then, 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 then we're going to see it. Then we're going to see, oh, he's just having fun. Just having fun. Fuck out of here, man. I'm done, man. The, the narcissism and the sense of entitlement that's spewing from this woman's mouth, it's incredible to me. So somehow she did an apology, but she made it his fault. Mm-hmm. Because it's his fault that he knew that that's what Umale does brings girl on stage humps on them and if he calls me i'm going to go those was her words and he mm -hmm. said he was okay with it mm -hmm. he probably didn't say he was okay with it he probably was like whatever because he didn't know that that was gonna happen most men okay let's just say he did agree with it a lot of times men just say things to make their girl feel better. You know what I'm saying? Doesn't necessarily mean. Doesn't necessarily mean that they actually want their girl to go on stage and do that. So for you to sit there and say, well, he was OK with it. No man is OK with another man. I don't care who he is grinding on their woman nope but see it's not even it was the guy umale's fault it's not his fault no it's not his fault it's not it's her fault and the reason why it's her fault is because she knew that that's the type of behavior that he does at his concerts and she went along with it instead of her mm -hmm. saying you know what i know that Umale does that, he pulls it on stage. I would never disrespect you like that. I don't care how much I like him. He called me upstage, I'll be like, oh, it's, it's cool, and I'll feel some type of way, but I would never, ever, ever, ever go on stage and disrespect you like that. Because this is the, she would have, if she would have said, if he called her on stage and she pointed at her, she said, no, no, no. And she hugged her baby, said, this is my baby right here. No, I'm not going to do that. And she danced along with it. She would have got so much respect for that. Facts. Because he would have just called another girl. Mm -hmm. He would have called another girl. And guess what? She would have said, see? And then she could have used that to her boyfriend and said, well, you know I care about you because my favorite artist pulled me, tried to pull me on stage. And I said, no. Mm -hmm. But she did it. And she did it in such a a way where it was like she did it before. So you already know that if she goes out, she's probably doing that. All of that. Exactly. She's probably doing everything that you see. Everything. That she done did on stage. She probably do all that because she was too comfortable with it. It was too quick. She didn't even hesitate. She just went up there. Boom. There it is. The sense of entitlement with these women today is out of control. You already know that her man is some type of punk or pussy because ain't no way in the world I would have let I would have said, look, you go up there, it's over. That's what I would have said. Don't play with me. I said, you crazy yep. as hell you going up there. Yep. You lost your damn mind. If I'm gonna let my girl walk up on stage and get humped on in front of it. Now the world sees this and your face is out there. So you come with that weak ass apology as if somebody's supposed to be okay with that. Now everybody knows exactly who you are. You the girl that embarrassed your boyfriend. You gonna always be remembered for that. Yep. Nobody's going to care about anything else you do. You could be a scientist that cures uh, cancer. 
You be like, oh yeah, that's scientists cure cancer. But you know what else she did? Back in the day, she had got humped on and had some nigga dick in her hand. <laughs> The world could be the world could be going into peril, going into fire, about to blow up. <laughs> and guess what they gonna say? Yeah, that's the bitch that had the nigga dick in the hand when I had a boyfriend. They don't care about that. We could be going to hell in a handbasket, on fire. And guess what they gonna say? That's the same bitch that had nigga hand dick in the hand that embarrassed a boyfriend. No matter which way you try to cut it, Jesus Himself could come down and she could say, "Hey." I met Jesus. Look, they have a picture. She could put it on 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 Snapchat and Facebook. Well, a picture with Jesus Christ Himself. And you know what people gonna say? That's the same girl that had the nigga dick in the hand in front of her boyfriend. Nobody's gonna care. Yeah. This is forever. Yep. Yeah. So she gotta live with that. And that weak ass apology. She need to she need to take that shit back to where she got it from. But it is what it is, man. Hey, man, sketch pads, you know what it is. We out of here. See y'all. Peace. Bye. Crazy, man.